Welcome back. We're going to continue our discussion about gradients and how we can apply them through adjustments and using a mask. So first we have this photo here. We're going to combine them and merge them. So I'm going to click the flyout menu and choose Merge Down or shortcut Control E. That will merge the two uh, layers into one. I am then going to select the gradient map adjustment, which means it's not going to harm the photo below. And whatever gradient I choose will, will be applied to um, whatever's below it. I want to change it to, let's say, a steel blue. Click OK. Double click the adjustments to, so I can see the layers panel a little bit better here. And then if I wanted to, I can Control J to copy it. And go up to the filter menu and apply that last filter by pressing Control F. And then I can reduce the opacity of that. So I can bring back the building a little bit more. And now you can see how we can use the gradient adjustment in relation to the other two filters to have some fun. If you don't like this gradient, you can double click on the thumbnail and choose black and white if you want. It's up to you. Okay, now how else can we use a gradient? Well, let's, let me show you. You click undo. Okay. Okay, now let me delete this mask here by right clicking on the mask and say delete layer mask. And I have two images, one of the sky and one of this. And I want to combine them both together because I like this darker bluer sky. So how do I do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is press Control T. So I'm going to make these clouds bigger. And I'm going to move it up more. So I'm going to move it up to about the ocean size here. Then I'm going to drag it out so I can increase the size. Move it up here. That's fine. Then I'm going to commit it. OK, and then I'm going to add a mask to this layer. I'm going to choose my gradient tool. I'm going to click over here and choose defaults. And I'm going to choose this black to white because that's how we draw on the mask. And the gradient also provides that nice intermediate gray to blend in. And then I'm going to start here and stop here. Maybe a little bit further. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now you're probably saying, but this looks awful. Remember, we can further customize the mask by drawing on the mask. So let me select the brush tool. And let me increase the size a little quick here. I'm going to increase my opacity to 100%. And then I'm going to draw right here. Because obviously we want to see this part. And then I'm going to reduce the opacity on this layer so that I can see what's underneath a little bit better. And I'm going to bring back the building real quick. Okay, I'm going to reduce the size of my brush so I can further get in here. We're not going to be exact here because we don't have a lot of time on this. Okay, it has a nice little blending. Now we can further customize it by reducing the opacity of my brush to let's say about 21%. Increase the size of the brush. And then just go across here once or twice to blend in the back with the front. Or to blend this with the bottom image. And there you have it. So the gradient tool can be used in different ways. There's also another option here. You can choose... Um, the gradient fill adjustment and it's, it's basically the same menus here so I mean you can choose a gradient again and you can choose which angle if you choose linear or which type so but you can see how the gradient can be very useful you can use it to blend two images seamlessly you can apply a gradient map and then choose the filter menu and apply that you can choose blend modes uh, so you can do all sorts of things